Hi all, in the last video we have discussed about the components of laser. Before discussing about the different types of laser, just we can see the two level, three level and four level system. In two level system, we have two energy levels E1 and E2. E1 is the lower level, E2 is the higher level. So by pumping method, we can raise the atoms from the lower level to the excited level. This excited level is having a short lifetime. So that will be de-excited to the lower level. It can be radiative or non-radiative. If it is radiative, that will produce the radiation of frequency nu and the energy will be E2 minus E1. But one of the problem of this two level laser system is that it is not having a metastable state. So if a system is not having a metastable, population inversion is not possible. So this two level system is not suitable for practical laces. The reason is that the population inversion is not possible in a two level system. Now come to the three level system. In three level system, we can have three energy levels E1, E2, E3. E1 is the ground level, E2 is the metastable state, E3 is the excited level. So by pumping mechanism, we can raise the atoms from the lower level, that is from the ground level to the level 3, that is the excited level. So when the atoms are raising to the excited level E3, the lifetime of these atoms is very short. The lifetime of an excited state is very short of the order of 10 raised to minus 8 seconds. So, these atoms in the level E3 will make a fast non-radiative transition to the level E2. Non-radiative transition means it gives its energy to the surrounding molecules in the form of translational, vibrational or rotational energy. So, from the level E3, it makes a fast non-radiative transition to the level E2. E2 is a metastable state. What is the property of a metastable state? Metastable state is having a long lifetime. That means the atoms in the metastables can retain in that state for a long lifetime of the order of 10 raised to minus 3 to 10 raised to minus 6 seconds. So that the population inversion will be achieved between this metastable state and the ground level. So this metastable state E2 will act as an upper laser level. Due to the population inversion between this upper laser level E2 and the lower level that is the ground level, a stimulated emission of radiation will take place. That is stimulated emission of radiation takes place between the metastable state and the ground level and it will lead to the laser. So, in a three level system, we are getting laser beam due to the stimulated emission of radiation between the metastable state and the ground level. Here, the upper laser level is the metastable state E2, lower level, laser level is the ground level. In three level laser system, the population inversion is achieved between the metastable state and the ground level. So around 50% of the ground level atoms have to be raised to the level E3. So the pumping power required is high in three level laser system. Ruby laser is a three level system. Now come to the four level system. In four level system, we have four energy levels E1, E2, E3, E4. Here by pumping mechanism, we are raising the atoms from the lower level to the excited level E4. From the E4, the atoms are making a fast non-radiative transition to E3 because the E4 is the excited level that is having a very short lifetime. So suddenly the atoms in the E4 is making a non-radiative transition to the level E3. Now, E3 is a metastable state. So this metastable is having a long lifetime. So the atoms will be retained there for a long time. So that the population inversion will be achieved between the level E3 and E2. 
here this e3 that is a metastable state act as an upper laser level and the e2 that is a excited level that act as a lower laser level because of the population inversion between this e3 and e2 laser action will takes place here and we are getting a laser beam now the atoms are in the level e2 from the level e2 it will make a transition to the level e1 so that it can again get pumped into the level e4 so e4 is the excited level e3 is the metastable state e2 is the again the excited level e1 is the ground level so in a four level laser system the laser action takes place between two excited state in which the upper laser level is the metastable state and the lower laser level is another excited level here we are creating a population inversion between two excited state here the upper laser level that is a metastable state but the lower laser level is also an excited state so the pumping power required is much smaller in four level system whereas in three level system the population inversion is created between an excited level and the ground level to create a population inversion between an excited level and an ground level more than 50 percentage of the atoms in the ground level have to raise to the excited level so that the pumping power required is high so the practical lasers are usually four level system for example neodymium yag laser helium neon lasers all these are four level system okay